Hey, how's it going? So, right, so before you understand use memo and use callback, you have to watch this video. Reference versus value in JavaScript, right? Otherwise, you are going to not understand why use callback or use memo is useful at all, right? So now go into the description in the below and watch this video, understand the concept, and then come back to this video. All right, so I'm gonna link this video in the description below. I'm gonna count to three. I'm assuming you already watched this, right? One, two, three. Okay, good. So now you understand the concept. Basically use callback and use memo do almost the same thing. Well, we're going to cover use callback, right? We're going to cover use callback first, right? I'll show you the problem, right? So fundamental problem is like this. So we're going to create, let's say, a const. Uh, let's say count. Set count. We need anything to render the code, right? So let's do zero. Uh, let's do h1. We're going to have count in here. Let's do button, click, on click it was like this, like this, set count, count plus one. All right, so, yeah, my, my code does that sometimes, okay. So now we're going to create a object, well, let's say let object one equals whatever. Uh, yes. Oh my god. Okay, we'll do it this way. Now, um, now I'll show you the problem. First, I'll show you a very, very fundamental problem, right? Console log changed, right? Okay, object one. So we know that use effect hook will only fire, only work, if object one changes, right? Since there is absolutely nothing to change the object, right? It should only work one time where on load, right? Because use effect always fires on load, right? So. That's what we have here. Now, look at the problem. We're clicking click and it's being re-rendered. So why is this happening? Right? Why is this object? Um, why is use effect um, thinking that the object has been changed somehow? Right? This is because every time you re-render what's effectively happening is uh, the signature of the object keeps changing and therefore use effect thinks that the object has changed so if you go back to the video right so he said let's say we have um, when we create an object it's a reference to a memory right so let's say this object is now sits in here right when you when you when you click on re-render so this changes to like this can this starts to change like this does that make sense? Right, so it keeps changing because you are re-rendering. You are effectively creating a brand new signature for this object. Again, you have to watch the video. If you have not watched the video, you will not understand what that means, right? So, right, so we need to make sure that this signature between re-renders stays like this. It does not change, right? Because right now that's the problem, okay? Right now, that's the problem. So the way we do that is we use use memo, right? We wrap it like this. And then we put a dependency. Ooh, ooh. Probably nothing. Oh, whoops. We need to return this map, which is like this. And then this needs to be like this. Okay, so now. Okay, so now you see what's happening. We are loading. 
it happens because use use effect works on the first um, when it starts, right? And now we're clicking, and nothing is. It's not. It's not being triggered. Use effect is not being triggered. Why? Because the signature remains the same. Does that make sense? Because without use memo, right? It's going to recreate it and do this essentially. But with use memo, it does not. So use memo, you use it when you just want to store values, right? So now object one will be equal to what's whatever is inside of this um, object, right? And then use callback is essentially you use it for functions. Honestly, I'm not even going to explain, right? Because this is foundation for use callback and use memo. What they are doing, they are saving the use by reference, right? Once you understand this concept, I will link two more videos from this guy. Right, and he explains uh, use memo and use callback really, 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 really well. Right, but this is foundation, and that will give you enough to understand uh, use memo and use callback videos. Right, and that's about it. Okay, take care. Well, actually, let me just think. Um, one second. All right. I decided to show you the difference between use memo <clears throat> and use callback. Now, remember, use memo and use callback do exactly the same thing. They store the um, memory reference or whatever, whatever you call it. Store by reference, right? So you don't get this uh, re-rendering for no reason whatsoever, right? So. What's the difference? Fundamentally difference, use memo stores the value of the function, right? So let's say you have a function, let's call it function, my function return one, right? So we want this function not to re-render every single time that the component re-renders because we want basically the signature to stay, let's say like that, right? So obviously naturally what we want to do is we need to let my function one equals use memo, right? And then we want to my function like this, and then like this, I think, right? And now we're going to do use effect. and let it run on every render. We're not gonna really do anything, but we're just gonna console log. Okay, so now this one is gonna get console logged. Do you see? So we're getting one, why? Because um, use memo is going to store so this variable is now equal to whatever comes, whatever the function returns. Why is it important? Because if your function is extremely slow, you do not want to, on every re-render, even though um, the signature does not change, um, if you're using use callback, it will have to recalculate the value. So. Although the signature does not change, the function itself runs, right? So if the function is extremely slow, it's bad, right? So you, use memo basically takes care of that because it only stores the value that comes out of the function. And then this way, on every re-render, you don't have to run the function slowing down your system, if, if that makes sense, right? Now, use callback is slightly different Right, use 
So you can write it this way, or you can write it with the um, same kind of syntax like this. I'm just gonna write it like this because it's visually gonna be easier. So remember, the signature is always going to be the same, right? So wait a minute. I just realized that I think you can just use use memo for everything. But fundamentally, use callback does the same thing, only it stores the actual function. Does that make sense? It just stores the actual function. Use memo stores the value, use callback stores the function. But let me just uh, try to do this one second. Let me just try to do this. Let's see what happens. Yeah. You see, even though we're using the same syntax, we're using the same syntax, use memo stores the value, while use callback stores the actual function. Do you see? So the syntax is identical, but one stores the value, one stores the, to the full function. Right? So why do you need use callback? Now, use callback is slower than use memo because use memo stores the value, use callback will recalculate the function all the time. That's why you just kind of need uh, use callback. You don't need. But again, I strongly encourage you. I'm going to... The easiest way to watch it is to watch this video first, right? Right, then watch use memo. I'm going to link it in the description. And then watch use callback. Otherwise, you will not understand the importance of these hooks at all. All right, so hope this was useful and like and subscribe. Take care.